Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara. Today I'm actually going to be teaching you Spanish. So if you already know Spanish, you can stay for some kicks and giggles. This video is for you if you are looking to travel to a Spanish-speaking country, especially if that country is the Dominican Republic because I have lived there for the past two years and I know a little bit of the slang. So today I'm going to be teaching you a few phrases that you might be able to use in your time, in your stay at the Dominican Republic or any Spanish-speaking country. There will be a few words that I will say probably don't use this if you're not in the Dominican Republic, but the rest should be fairly universal for Spanish-speaking countries. All right, I hope you guys are ready. I hope you have your thinking caps on. I hope you are ready to learn. Learning is always a good thing, especially learning a new language. So today I'm going to teach you a few Spanish phrases that you can use if you're a beginner, if you really don't know anything, or if you just want to maybe chat a little bit when you're staying in a Spanish-speaking country. The first one, I pray to God everybody knows this already, but the first one is to say hello, you simply say hola. In Spanish, the H is silent, so the H at the beginning of hola is not pronounced. You just pronounce hola, O-L-A. In Spanish also, another note for pronunciation is that the vowels are pretty short. So you wouldn't say hola, that's not the way to go. In Spanish, keep the vowels pretty short. Hola. That is how you say hello. Let's go over a few other greetings that you could say if you are meeting someone for the first time. This one, like I said, I'm going to give you a warning, is mainly, if not only used in the Dominican Republic, and that is to say, que lo que. That is simply like, what's up? That phrase doesn't really translate, so you just say, que lo que. In other countries, you might say, que pasa. So you'll notice this word, Q-U-E, is pronounced que, like the letter K in English. If you want to ask someone Somebody, how are you? You can say como estas. If you want to really sound Dominican, drop the S at the end. Como esta. If you want to really, really sound slangy, say como esta. Just drop all the S's. So that is how you say how are you. Let's practice the whole phrase together. Hola, como estas. Remember, all the vowels are pretty short, so you don't drag them out. Also in Spanish, all the vowels are pronounced the same way. It's not like English where we have short vowels and long vowels. They're all just the same. So you would say, hola, como estas? Something else, maybe somebody would say this to you, is to say welcome. You would say, bienvenido, bienvenido. That just means welcome. Maybe you'll see a sign that says bienvenido. It literally means, bien means well, venido means come, so bienvenido. Welcome. <laughs> it's actually quite literal. I love the Spanish language. <laughs> if you are meeting somebody and you'd like to say, it's nice to meet you, you can say, mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. You might see this word mucho in some other phrases that we learn today. It just means a lot. Gusto is like, so I like it a lot. Basically, it's what it literally translates to, but the general meaning is mucho gusto. Nice to meet you. Or you can say, es un placer. Placer is pleasure. It's a pleasure. So you can also just say un placer to just simplify it. And the C in this case, as you might have noticed, is making the S sound. So when you meet someone, you can say mucho gusto or un placer. Or if they say un placer, you could say, this is a little bit advanced, el placer es mío. What is something that you can say to ask somebody's name? If you want to ask what's your name, you can ask como te llamas. The double L is pronounced differently in different countries. You can pronounce it more with a Y or maybe even sort of a J sound like llamas, but this is a letter in Spanish that is not pronounced just like two L's. It's pronounced as more of a Y sound. Como te llamas or llamas. That's how you can ask somebody's name. Or if you want to be more literal, this is not what I learned in Spanish class, but it is still used. You could even say, que es tu nombre? So pretend you're meeting someone. What do you say? You say, hello, that is, hola. You say, what's your name? Como te llamas? They say their name. And then you say your name. To say your name, you say, me. It's written just like me, but it's me. Llamo. Notice how we change the end of llamas to fit the I version, which is llamo, ending in O. Me llamo, then you say your name. You can say how you normally say it, or you can sort of adjust the pronunciation so it's easier for a Spanish speaker. For example, I usually say me llamo cara instead of cara, because cara is already a word in Spanish, so the pronunciation is more like the Spanish pronunciation. So let's practice that whole little series. First you say hello, hola, then you ask their name, como te llamas? They they say their name. Me llamo, to say your name, me llamo Cara, or whatever your name is. And then you can say, nice to meet you. Do you remember? Mucho gusto, or es un placer, or un placer. 
for short. All right, so that is a phrase you can use when you're talking to somebody. Maybe they will say bienvenido if you're going to their house, their church, their place. They might say bienvenido. And that is, do you remember? Welcome. You'll probably see this on a sign somewhere, maybe at the airport. That is a quick little introduction to some Spanish phrases that you can use. Now, if you want to ask other questions, for example, one important question you might need to know is where is the bathroom? <laughs> this would be donde, that's where, está el baño. Donde está el baño. Now, the N with the tilde over it, that is pronounced with sort of like an N-Y. Imagine the word canyon. You sort of show in the N a little bit more. Baño. It's not bano. <laughs> baño. All right, that should hopefully help you with the pronunciation. Hopefully then they can just point and give you directions to the bathroom. <laughs> People in Dominican Republic and I found in all the Spanish speaking countries that I visited are very friendly, they're very helpful, very willing to help. So you shouldn't encounter too many problems even if there is a language barrier. Now, what do you say when somebody helps you or what do you say when they show you the bathroom? You say gracias, thank you. Or if you are very thankful, muchas gracias. So like I said, that word mucho, meaning a lot, comes back. And this time we change the ending to match the ending of gracias. Muchas ends in AS, gracias also ends in AS. Now that we have talked about some basic introductory words, what about when you are leaving? What do you say? You can say goodbye, which is simply adios. You can say hasta luego, until later, like catch you later, you know that phrase we have, see you later. Or you can say nos vemos. Nos is the pronoun for us, like we. Vemos is we see, so we will see each other. So we have to say goodbye, adios. To say see you later, hasta luego. To say another form of see you later, we have nos vemos. And if you want to be extra nice, and everybody says this really, you would say Dios te bendiga. That means God bless you. Dios is God, te is the pronoun for you, bendiga is blessed. So Dios te bendiga. Bendiga. And that means God bless you. Then, if someone says that to you, you say Amen. Amen. That one's pretty simple. <laughs> I think people in English say Amen anyways. That's what you should say when someone says that. It took me a while to learn that. I was saying gracias, but then I finally realized, oh, you're supposed to say Amen. Got it. <laughs> I want to keep this pretty short for now. So those are just a few phrases that you can use for a beginner, somebody who doesn't speak Spanish, or maybe you even need a little reminder. These are some phrases you can use if you're going to travel to a Spanish speaking country, if you're not sure what to say. Here are just a few phrases that will help you. So let's review everything one more time. If you want to say hello, say hola, then pretend you are asking someone's name, say como te llamas, then they say their name, and then you say me llamo and your name. You can also say mi nombre es, my name is that's more literal but me llamo maybe it's a little bit simpler for you it's only two words anyways you say your name me llamo cara and then you say nice to meet you un placer es un placer mucho gusto then if you want to ask where the bathroom is you could ask donde está el baño then if you want to say thank you say gracias or muchas gracias finally when you're saying goodbye you can say adios you can say, Dios te bendiga. If they say that to you, you say, Amen. And you can also say, Nos vemos, or hasta luego. And then if you want to be extra nice, maybe you don't want to say, Dios te bendiga, you could also say, Cuídate. That means, take care of yourself. I hope this was not too much. I definitely plan on making more videos like this, helping people learn Spanish just a little bit at a time. So if you like this video, please subscribe. I will have more like this. If you enjoyed watching, please also give a thumbs up. It really helps me and I really appreciate it. That is all for today. Hopefully this was helpful for someone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.